Today we're going to be hitting up Charlie Thomas of Thomas Pride Trucking. I'm super amped to clean this truck because it's a crazy rig. We're going to bust out our brand new foam wash on this thing and get hands on with it. And then we're going to use our heavy duty degreaser to clean the engine compartment and the fifth wheel and all the stuff that needs all that help. So let's see how this thing turns out. Get right into it. got the pre-rinse done on this thing. Next up, we're gonna degrease the engine and the fifth wheel because that's gonna make kind of a mess. And then we'll hit it with our foam wash. So let's get into that. We're getting the heavy stuff off of there before we go ahead and degrease what's left. We're gonna use the Alk 9 alkaline rated sprayer. So we're just gonna use this stuff straight up. We want maximum cleaning ability for this. Here we go. Here, full disclosure. So this was the moment that I realized that we were slightly staining Charlie's aluminum here. And I was horrified because I've never seen heavy duty do anything like that before. I think the difference was in my tests, I've always put it on polished aluminum at this strength, let it dry and haven't seen issues, even though I don't recommend letting it do that. But in this instance, I was applying it for an extended period of time because the fifth wheel grease was so stingy. It was uh, probably 10, 12 minutes of soaking the thing down, reapplying it. And I think something about that caused some very light staining to come in the patterns where it was running down off the sides. Charlie was pretty cool about it and I appreciated that. I guess his reasoning was that normally he says he spends about three to four hours getting it to a place where he can then polish it anyway once it's cleaned up. And so this probably took us a half hour. I think it could probably be done in less time, maybe 20 minutes. Anyways, it was something he felt was still a shortcut, quick hand polish, and then it would be back to being ready for the show season. So let's get back into this, see how this thing turns out. I know you're bummed about that runoff, but you have to figure that this, this metal here is getting kicked out of it. That's true. 24 hours a day. Do you think it's easier to have some light staining and polish it back by hand than to take Absolutely. it off of the rag? 100%. Well, I guess that's an angle. 100%. In my experience, heavy duty has always been 100% fine on aluminums. But you can just see a little bit of discoloration in there, right? Like a little bit of 
It's from where it was running down, a little heavier. We can get that back by hand real quick. We'll make that thing look 100%. But it is, I guess, a shortcut compared to how you get it off normally. It's nine months of trailering, including the winter. Hmm. And it looks like that without a single scrub. Considering how we got here, yeah. without any crazy. elbow grease at all. Yeah. No elbow grease. That is pretty crazy. Yeah. That's product and grease. water pressure. I don't have any experience cleaning uh, polished up fifth wheels, so I mean, I guess it is a, a, a time saver for sure. I mean, looking at how it must have been to clean that up normally. The stuff is stingy, man. Fifth wheel grease is no joke, deal. huh? Fifth wheel grease is a real deal. Really impressive. So that was good. We were able to get all the grease off this bulkhead without any uh, contact. That's cool. Now this thing is looking back to normal. We'll get the uh, axles tuned up up front here. So now it's time to get in here. Let's clean up some of this stuff. Get all this loosened up and then we'll get onto the foam wash. <laughs> is all prepped down what we're gonna do now is we're gonna foam it wipe it around a little bit rinse it off and this thing will be all set
on to the next one. <laughs>